Shalom. 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 Awesome. To start this camp, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And citation to the citation to the sincere brothers who say his truth and all true sincerity brought the four corners of the earth to lead to you. We say Shalom. 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 All right. We GMS Miami, the heralds of Yahweh Shai, and you know we come out another week. And we come out to prophesy unto our people, man. All right? We come out to speak the words of prophecy unto the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? Our job is to what? Warn our people. Let them know what's going on what's going on in the planet Earth right now. And let them know what's about to come as well, man. Okay? Our job is to what? Speak the words of prophecy once again. Somebody grab that for me. Uh, 2 Andrew 15, uh, verse 1. Go ahead. This is the book of 2 Andrew. Chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak though in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, yep. which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. Right, so our job is to speak the words of prophecy. Go ahead. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So we have to speak the words of prophecy unto our people. We have to tell you what's written in the Holy Bible, man. Okay? We have to tell you what's written in the Holy Bible. We got to tell you what... What the Lord said is going to come to pass, man. Okay? Before it comes to pass, we have to give you warning. So what? That can what? So you can be uh, provoked. Uh, provoked to what? Repent. <laughs> okay? Before all hell break loose. But uh, you got it, Rob. Right? What does prophecy mean? Yep. Pro prophecy means the same before. That's right. And then that's exactly what we're doing as a prophet. Say, you have us outside. We're saying the same thing that, that's going to happen before it happens. That's right. It's good to tell you that in Isaiah 42 and 9. That's spirit. I was just about to go there. Uh, this is Isaiah 42 and verse 9. And it says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Right, that's the prophecy, man. That's right. Yeah, America's going to be destroyed. The Jacob's trouble's coming. Yeah. Okay, these women about to, about, to, about to get ravaged. That, that is the prophecy, man. Okay, the, the, the Revelation 13 and 16. You know, we tell you that, put, it to, uh, to, uh, put fear in you, as the brother said, to repent. To, uh, repent. And turn right. back to Yahweh Shemel Shah. That's right. And that's what we're doing for the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right. All right, the Lord's, the Lord's people. Our job is to what? Go out to the Lord Shiva Israel and to what? Preach. All right? We preach. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Just like our Lord Yahweh Shai did when he was on the scene. Just like John the Baptist did when he was on the scene. That's the job of the prophets. To tell the people to repent. All right? And turn back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's Matthew 4 and 17. For that time Yahweh Shai began to preach. And to say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And we're doing, like, like, we're doing the same thing, man. Tell you to repent and turn back to Yahweh Shemar Shai, man. Yep. That's the first step of coming back to him. You know, change, changing your old ways, changing your old your, your old habits, man. Hey, man, shit. This is the this is the right time to what? Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. See, remember not our creator. Alright? This is a, this is the right time for you to turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, get right with the Lord, man. Because it's about to get really bad out here, man. Okay, and like I like to say, man, uh, things intensify. Because you got famine going on, you got pestilence going on. Hey, women women being chased around by these <laughs> by these men, all right? But they about to be taken. Hey, these different things are going on, but like I like to say, it's only going to intensify. Just like with a fire. You got to go. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. It says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And the brother just mentioned pestilence, you know? Right. You know, the brother speaking about the prophecies, you know? You know, we come in the spirit of our Lord, which is the uh, spirit of prophecy. Right. We're supposed to speak about these prophecies. Our conversation is holy in, 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 the, in the words of the Lord, man, talking about the things that's to come. All right? We got war going on. The scriptures tell you about that. The Lord left that as a sign. Tell you about wars and rumors of wars. You know? And we've seen all these things. Evil. Okay? Meaning bad time. Okay? And that's the scripture tell you. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 7, beginning at verse 1. And evil and, and the end is come. The end watches for thee. You know? It's, it's just going to be evil continually. Bad times. You know? 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. And this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. 
we in that time. And that's what we're talking about. This is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. It says, Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. And that's what we're going through the Spirit. That's our week. That's what I say every week. God, that's how we go through the spirit. You know, every every Saturday we out here to not um crown crown our spirit not, man. We we lifting up our voice, we're not people telling people what's about to come to pass and telling our people ultimately to repent. You know? Part of part of uh, like what the brother said, probably you got fat men's pestilence, and all these things coming to pass, man. Right? And we in our job to spirit is to warn y'all. And that's what we put fear in y'all and, and for y'all to repent. You know? Because uh, if I may say if I may say, we we not we not going nowhere, we not going nowhere but forward from here on out. All right, we not going nowhere but forward from here on out. Okay, these different things are just gonna continue to happen. It's gonna be more famine. All right, prices of different things gonna to continue to increase and so on and so forth. Man. All right, we not going back. Okay, we moving forward. All right, because by us moving forward, it also shows that what our Lord Yahweh Shah is about to return. All right? And when our Lord Yahweh shall return, there's only two things that's going to be taking place. Destruction and salvation. All right? Destruction and salvation. Okay? And we're fighting to the Lord for be a part of that salvation. Okay? That's it. Ezekiel 7, start at 1. Okay. The word for the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Also thou son of man, thus said the Lord Yahweh unto the, unto the land of Israel. An end, the end is come on the four corners of the land. Right, we have the end right now. Okay? And as such, the team looks to continue to intensify until we get into the kingdom. Right, right. it's going to it's get worse and worse out here in America, man. Right. All right? Right now, you know, it's not really that bad out here, man. Okay? Women are able to uh, walk out here liberally, all right? Half naked. All right, people are able to walk their dogs. All right, men are out here to just, you know, men are out here to walk and drink coffee and so on and so forth with a Starbucks. It hasn't really got that bad here, man. Okay, but it will. That's right. But it will. All right. That's why uh, I'm saying. That's why I'm still saying uh, because uh, victory shall be so good. Cheap. Right. I think again, in good case. Yep. Yep. The scourges are sent for uh, an amendment. Yep. Right. Yep. But they they not going they not gonna be buying for all the scourges. Right. Yep. That's the time we living in. It's the time that Yahweh shot called the beginning of sorrow. Right. That's right. It's gonna get a whole lot worse. That's right. You know? That's right. That's Niggas still about. got fucking grand free going all this shit. Like really, right. really, really, everything is back to normal in a sense. Yep. You know. Yep. But, yeah, like the scriptures speak yeah. about that when they say peace and safety, they start the destruction for the exactly. them, right. like a woman in travail, you know, with child, exactly. and they shall not escape. Right. They ain't gonna escape because the, it's already written, man. And the, the words of the Lord don't turn back onto him void. We right. know that. The Lord say, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. he's not a man that he should repent, man. Right. All right? right? All right? Uh, how did he not say it and shall he not make it good? Roughly paraphrasing. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. right. When a woman is in travail, what, uh, what happens? She has contractions, right. well, birth pains, and they come and go, right. like the scriptures say, man. Right now, we in the middle of, of the last contraction and the next one. That's right. You know? Right, the sixth right. six, six and the seventh trouble. That's right, that's good. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but but the, the seventh, it, really in the seventh trouble, it's, 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 it's over with. That's it. At that's that it. point, that's it. you know? But that, we are in the between the six and seven, you know? but. When the missiles come, that's it right. for these people. But leading up to that point, it's going to be straight judgment. Judgment. Right. I have something about to write up. This is 2nd Andrew chapter 8 and verse 50. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the land of time shall, that, so that the time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. If you know anything about the scriptures, you know the Most High don't deal with a proud spirit, man. Okay, the scriptures say those that are proud is an abomination unto the Lord. So all these people who are walking around high-minded and thinking that everything is going back to normal, thinking that the word of the Lord is not going to stand, the scriptures say, uh, 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 what if some did not believe? Shall they uh, unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid, let the Most High be true and every man a liar, man. The word of the Lord is going to go forward, man. The Lord says he's going to do all its pleasure. That means that everything, the scriptures say none shall fail. Talking about the prophecies, ain't none going to fail, man. 
Yeah. And we know you how about Shimmy Al Shai coming through. Yeah, you how about Shimmy Al Shai don't change. That's my guy being six. All right, the Lord says something, the Lord don't stand on it. Okay? The Lord is a real man. All right? He says something, he stand on it, man. Okay? Yahweh shot the same yesterday, today, and forever, man. That's right. The Father and the Son don't change. Now, what's written in these scriptures will come to pass. Didn't captivity come? Didn't uh, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68 come to pass? All right? Yeah, yeah. If I make, stop. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, uh, 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 different prophecies in the scriptures saying, oh, Israel, you're going to go to captivity here. Israel, you're going to go to captivity there. Didn't it, didn't it not come to pass, man? All right? What you got it? So, uh, sorry, brother. Uh, Second Hedges, Yeah, that's what we started with. That's Second Hedges 5 and 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. You know, going into what the brother said at the beginning of the show, is going to get even worse. Where well, the Lord is basically going to take a big swipe out of the population of the earth, man. That's right. You know, we're just going to see bodies after bodies after bodies after bodies, and we're going to, it ain't going to stop. It's going to get to that point where, you know, when you turn on the faucet, and, you, and it just keep running. It's going to get to that point like the flood. That's right. The, the rain didn't stop until people, uh, everybody died, except eight souls. Now, uh, read that again. Read that again. Second Edges 5 and 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. So at that same time where you gonna have all these bodies dropping, the Lord said that the way of truth is going to be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. So at the time when people going to be, uh, when this when this truth is going to be needed the most, it's going to be taken away. That's, That's right. why the Lord said, while they yet had liberty right. and hated, right. you know, loathe my law, the same shall know it after death by pain. Right. Right. So when all these uh, judgments is taking place on both sides, and if, if he hide his truth, how, how he going to do that? He going to hide it by his men. That's it. He got to hide his men. His men are the carriers of the truth. Right. That's so, true. exactly. So, right. by the way of truth, that means his true men, the true men of the Lord. Right. Are going to not? You're not going to have any access to them. None. Right. Hey, if I may back you up, Zamar, it's like uh, it's like the niggas that be walking around with the bricks truck. Mm -hmm. Their job is to secure the money. They they hold that. Mm -hmm. All right. They're that. Uh, they're the holder. Exactly. And we're the holder of the truth. That's right. All right. It's in, you know the Lord give it give it to us. Man. All right. Well, Aaron, Aaron got something right there. Uh, uh, yeah, she's twelve and one. We're now that creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, and though the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds will turn after the rain. All right, so remember the Lord now, man. Okay, before the truth is taken away, you're not, not going to be able to find it, man. Right. Oh, well, you said the sun and the stars and the moon right. yeah. represent wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is, as well. Yeah. Before, yeah. They be, before the men get off the corners, before right. it be darkened. Because right. the scriptures say, the day, uh, the day shall come when no man can work. I must right. work the works while it's still day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I must work the works while it is still day. Right. The yeah. night coming when no man can work. Right. Yeah, the scripture, hey. the scripture say there shall be a crying in the streets for uh, for wine in the street, man. Me and you, 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 you will be out there crying to get this word, but you ain't gonna be able to get it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Amos yeah. eight and eleven. It's gonna yeah. be a famine of the word. The Lord said. You know, He's gonna take His men off of the streets, man. You're not gonna because guess what? You need teachers. You need the Holy Spirit to be resting upon you, and you need teachers. You need someone to teach you, man. The, the, the Ethiopian unit, man. We have to be taught. Somebody got to show you this. Somebody got to break this down for you, and that's the reason why you're not going to be able to get it because the men of the Lord are not going to be out in the highways and the byways in that time when the elect is already sealed. They're not going to be out there. Or, or, or on the internet. The Esau might throw you a few bug outs. They ain't, those are the true men of the Lord. Right. He might leave you General Yohanna, man. Right. <laughs> you can have him. Right. But true man, you best believe they ain't gonna be on the internet. They gonna, they gonna, they, and what he gonna tell you? <laughs> you think God cares? If he if take you take a microchip? Right. That's the type of niggas gonna be. Hey, yeah, those, those type of niggas, man. I had a quick one. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 3 and 4. Ezekiel 3, 3 and 4. It says, I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover, 
for they are a rebellious house. Hey, the Lord say, they are a rebellious house, man. All right? A stiff-necked set of people, man. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. We know our people, man. Uh, okay, Jake, 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 Jake always shucking the shoulder, man. Right. You know how he is? You know, you know how Jake carries right. up? Right. You know? Yeah, that's, uh, if I may say, because you said about uh, shrugging the shoulder, right? Right. Uh, Jake don't want to hearken, you know, back here, Zechariah 17 and 11. Uh, uh, the Lord tell the, tell, we tell the people to, uh, the truth, but they pull back the shoulder of your parents. Right. They don't want to hearken. Jake, Jake didn't know everything. Hey, and nigga just that, came that, up last week said that. Right. Nigga said that last week. He said, yeah, I know. He said, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm Simeon. It was like, oh, right. He said, I know everything. Yeah, that's, that's the spirit of Jake. Right? <laughs> that's a natural right. spirit, natural characteristic about Jake. You know, yeah, shit, even me, I grew up like that. Right. You just, you just hard-headed. You just think you, you know every fucking thing. Right. That's just, that's just Jake. That's Jake. Right. But Jake, gonna, they're going to learn the hard way. Right. right. That's, that's, that's why the Lord said it. He told his secret. Right. I'm going to send you to these people. Mm -hmm. They're not going to listen. Right. You know? Yep. Simple as that. Hey, if I may back you up right quick, uh, Osh, uh, it made me think about uh, Hebrews, uh, which was talking about, made me think about Hebrews uh, 4 and 12, uh, dealing with uh, how the word is a two at the sword. Because, like I like to say a lot, when you get cut with the scriptures, it's either going to make you do two things. You're going to humble down or you're going to buck up. And you already know, Jake and the I know everything spirit, this truth is supposed to humble that spirit. You right. know, it's supposed to humble it. You know, yeah. but if you a prideful Jake, you a two third, you gonna hear the word and you gonna get cut and you just gonna buck up. You know, yeah. you furthering, know? condemning, and, and sealing your fate of destruction. Exactly. You know? That's right. Because that, that's what uh, Luke one, uh, the scripture talking about where Yahweh Shai was a, 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 a discerner right. of the spirits and the thoughts, because right. he is the word. Right. Going right. back two thousand years ago, mm -hmm. that when he came on the scene, it was you, you, what you gonna do. Right. You know? Oh, right. But that's what the word is. That's, that's the spirit. Uh, let me bring this out real quick. Good. That, that's good. Uh, this is the book of Luke. All right. Chapter 2. Oh, that's 2. It's lucky. Yeah, 2 and 30. That's what you That's what you call it? Come on, come on. Yeah, this is Luke chapter 2. And verse... Uh, where you talking about when the old man Simeon, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Luke, Luke, uh... Oh yeah, Luke chapter 2 and verse 34. And Simeon blessed them. Are right, you talking about when Yahweh Shai was uh when he was born and they, they, their parents took him to uh, be circumcised, right? And you had an old old man by the name of Simeon, right? And the Mosai revealed to him from the spirit that he was gonna see uh the Messiah before he died. Right. So when Yahweh Shai came as a baby, he already knew it's the it's the Messiah. The spirit revealed it, right? Luke 2 and 34, and Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yeah, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. That's the word. The word made flesh. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 4 and 12 goes into that. Right. The word is a discerner of hearts and intent. Right, exactly. When you hear the word, is like the brother said, it's gonna be two things that happen. Mm -hmm. You go, you go take heed, or you gonna buck up. And that's what Yahweh Shah did when he came on the scene. Right, the, the, the falling and rising of many in Israel. That's the right. Two thirds is gonna fall, right. and, the, and the elect is, is, is gonna rise, man. He said, yeah, even a sword shall pierce your own heart also, <laughs> because even, even his mom got cut. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> like when you, when you, you know, right. when, they, when they came and tell him your, your, your mother and your brother right. were outside, he said, who's my mother? Right. You know who did she got cut by that? Right. Of course she got cut. She raised him. Right. Do you imagine that? Yeah. Your, mama, your mama hear you say, who's my mom? <laughs> she don't feel like shit, man. <laughs> so, but you know why she, she said that? Because Yahweh Shai had four brothers. Two believed, two didn't. Right. So, and the mom, she had to pick a side. You know, mom, she go, um, you know, you, just like that today. You can have a brother, one in the truth, one not. Right. But the mom, she loved both her sons. Right. You know. But one, one got to get put down, man. Right. Uh, I got something about the brothers up. We could. Uh, this is uh, Saint John, chapter three and verse seventeen. It said, "For the Most High sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might oh, be saved." Up, huh? Yeah. Uh, 
where it says, uh, that's, that's, I might be wrong, but that's the same one where it says, uh, where it says, uh, light is coming to the world. Yeah, read that too. That's, that's, that's it, right? What verse you started at? That's how I'm going to tell it. I just come to Where it says, uh, I'm reading, I'm reading down from 17. He, uh, he that believes it not is condemned yeah, already. That's, that's yeah, going yeah, down okay, to that. Okay, uh, uh, St. John the seventh, the, uh, the sixth chapter, the clocky, the third chapter, beginning at the seventeenth verse, it says, For the Most High sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That world is talking about Israel, man. It says, He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed on the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and that men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Like the brother was speaking about Hebrews chapter 4 and 12. You know, you you, 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 you gonna do either one or two things, man. Right. You know, you're gonna get it or you're gonna fuck up. Right. You know? It's no, it's no, it's no gray area. All right, there's no gray area. It's not, I'm, I'm, I guess some of it, and you know, there's no gray areas. Is you down for it or are you not? Right, and what Yahweh was trying to say, he said, He that is not uh, with me is against me. Right, right. exactly. Yep, yep. And, uh, hey, uh, you know, you know it's, it's no gray area. Just like what the scriptures say, what the scriptures say, let your yay be yay, your nay be nay. Right. There's no gray area. Right. That's the world, that's the spirit of this world. Gray right. area. Right. right. Every, all along to get along. Right. You know? Yeah. We right. all can be equal. You can believe what you believe, but I believe what I believe, but we all supposed to tolerate it. That's an Edomite doctrine. Right. right. Because Esau is condemned, so he's trying to group everybody together. Right, right. right. And he knows he's condemned. Yep, yep. And he's looking for a shield. Yeah. Because he's a vagabond. Right. He, you know what they say? They say, a uh, 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 misery love company. Yep. That's right. Esau, man. Yep, yep. Uh, read now verse 20. It says, for everyone that doeth evil hated the light. That's Esau. Neither come in and, and summon on the wicked well, Jake. Uh, uh, Jake too, yeah. <laughs> Talking about Jake. Right, right. <laughs> you know, so came to the Israelites. Right, right, right. 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 <laughs> it says, Neither come into the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth come into the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wroth in the most high. So that's it, man. You either you, 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 you gonna get this, or you ain't gonna get it. Right. We know it's not for everybody, it's for the elect. Right. That's right. That's right. Right, that's, that's, that's what I may say. That's why we came into this thing. Right. To, to be made manifest, the Lord wanted we of the elect, you know? Right. Right. You, do, you got the, the elect before it's chosen, before the foundation of the earth, but they're going to they're gonna have to walk a certain walk. They're going to come when they hear the word, they're going to repent, they're going to be transformed and converted. Right. You know, and the two thirds is being made manifest right. while they're the two thirds. Even though the Lord chose them before to, to, uh, uh, to be destroyed at the end, but they're, they're just like the elect are call, uh, uh, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure. The two thirds is giving diligence to uh, make their rejection sure. Mm -hmm. Their destruction uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, right? So we can't be going based off on emotion or what's in our head, you know? We gotta move according to the word, which is Yahweh Shai, pertaining to John the first chapter, you know, beginning with the word. Yeah, man, that's it. This, this word, this word, it, it, it brings you to life. And if you wander out of the way of truth, you know, you, you gotta remain in the congregation of the dead, man. This, this is Proverbs 3 and 5. In Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord Yahweh with all trust in the Lord Yahweh with all thine heart, and leave not and leave not unto thy own understanding. Right. That, that's, that's, what the, that's what the world puts you. You know, be what you want to be, you do what you want to do. But you're not supposed to do that, man. Who's doing what Yahweh Shai wants you to do, man? But these people, they 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 mix this shit up. You're not supposed to do that, man. That, that's what they want to do. That's why it's so much Everybody believe in what they want to believe. If I may say uh, right quick, because I did a video uh, yesterday, you know, in America, you know, people worship different idols and so on and so forth. 
you know, in America they push, you know, you can be yourself and so on and so forth, but for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you can't just be yourself, all right? You gotta serve Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's, that's you being yourself, all right? These other heathens, they can do whatever, whatever the fuck they want to do. They don't have a God, right. you know? The reason for that is because the Lord gave you, Right. Uh, the people on the side, the Lord such as the commandments, man. You he his wife. To you. That's right. Right. You know, but even when when we do that, when we do be ourselves, who we really supposed to be? Right. You, you're terrorist now. Right. Right. You, 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 you're you're an uh, identity a black identity extremist. <laughs> right. Uh, Radical. So what that mean? I mean, we 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 this place is not our race. Exactly. We're not here to to be. We can't be here. Right. You see? Oh, look at Kevin Sanders. Right. All right. Yeah. He right. was uh, rebuking the so-called black woman. And, 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 which he is their enemy right. because you know he was exposing them. But you know, as you can see, you know when he died, you know now he ain't taking up for the nigga. Right. He was wicked. But I'm saying, who was there? You know what I'm saying? When you being called out for it, right. he was looked at as a terrorist to the black woman. Exactly. Right. Oh, he's oh he ah. You see how much more us? Uh, who was there when he died? A, a black woman. Yeah. A black woman, a so-called black woman. So we, 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 you know, put two and two together. Exactly. Yep. Ain't no coincidences, man. <laughs> Come on now. Yep. <laughs> we, we know what time it is. If you got eyes to see, ears to hear. We're not ignorant of saying devices, man. Right. You know, they pushing this uh, killing your children now, and then he get caught up in the midst of that too, man. Right. See, it, hey, if you ain't on Esau's agenda, and you ain't got that head, you get your block knocked off, buddy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, niggas like him had to go. Uh -huh. They gotta go because a lot of people was praising that dude like he, like he the Lord or something, yep. man. Right. You know, the Lord don't like that shit. Like, when we have a Jake rise up, and uh -huh. you ain't about this truth, but you, you getting a lot of influence and the praise of men, and you got a high platform, yep. but you're not giving no praise and glory to your how about some y'all shot? The Lord gonna kill you, man. Because, right. 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 he, if I make, make a point, he was mainly who, who, who clung under him. Southern King, right. Jewish Benjamin and Levi. Right. So the Lord looking at this nigga like you know you're an Israelite. You ain't miss you ain't say Israelite in none one of your videos. You no, know he was watching the video. Come on, right. man. Lord, well, he got fed up with the guy, man. Right. Yeah, you can't say he ain't had opportunity. The Lord give everybody opportunity, man. <laughs> you know? Right. The Lord, the Lord is righteous in all his ways. <laughs> Brett's got it. Oh. Even Nebuchadnezzar acknowledged the God of Israel, man. Right. Even though he was a heathen, 
But he acknowledged that Yahweh is Yahweh, man. That's right. That's he right. is. Alright? Who else acknowledged uh, Yahweh? He wasn't. Uh, Balaam? Uh, I think Balaam? Uh, yeah, I got one. Let me try to. Uh, Killer, uh, tried to curse this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, yep. Yeah. Dylan was never connected that whole that fourth chapter. Hey, you know Daniel told him because uh, he had a vision. Daniel told him, all right, and he still he was still went in how he said a few things and boom he got struck. And then what? That allowed him to what? He acknowledged the power. Yeah. I got, all right. I got another. That was the thing that he humbled himself. I got another uh, example. Uh, it's Acts chapter twelve. Con uh, <laughs> and 21. And upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, yeah. sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. Yeah. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God and not of a man. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not the Most High the glory. And he was eating up worms and gave up the ghost. Right. Just like Tupac, how the most I took yep. out Tupac, man. He had a big influence among people, man. You know, people was falling away from Tupac, but the most high what? Gave him to the spiritual world, man. Put him down. It's because when, when people, that's why, you know, us, when, when, when we don't like flattery, man. People come and you they give praise, praise to us and say, oh man, you, well, you, I like the way you did it, I like the way you said it, what we say? Oh, praise to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Right. We don't want that smoke. Right. We don't want no smoke with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, when, when, if, if somebody say that and you just, somebody give you all these praises and you don't, you don't say, nah, man, I'm just, you don't play the humble route, Lord said, I'm going to kill you. Yep. I got something to back you up. Um, Daniel chapter 3, verse 28. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Let's be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who have seen his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have, and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies, that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own power, man. And it says what? Therefore I make a decree that every people, nation, and language will speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sword. Because the Heavenly Father delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the fiery furnace, man. Okay? So Nebuchadnezzar acknowledged the, the God of Israel. That's all I got. Uh, yes, yeah, it's Daniel 2 and 21, and he changed the times and the seasons. He removed his kings and set, and set them up kings. He gave his wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Going back to going back to you know, Nebuchadnezzar, man, you know? He the one that put up Nebuchadnezzar and he brought him right back down. Nebuchadnezzar, he, he, he repented and they acknowledged it, yeah. right. you know, but then his son, uh, his name of Belshazzar, yeah. all right, he, 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 he was proud, and, and the, the same thing happened to him, but he didn't repent, right. and, and the most, most high put his ass, put his ass to death, man, a lot of uh, the Persians come in and just sack the kingdom, man, he should have took, 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 took heed to his daddy, uh, uh, what his dad would do, he took heed, I mean, uh, Daniel chapter 5 and verse 30. In that night was Belshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans, slain. It says, And Darius the Median took the kingdom, being about three score and two years old. Right. That's the script I was looking for at the same time. I was meditating on that because why? Belshazzar, what they were doing, they were drinking of the Lord's cup, man. They were drinking out of those vessels and being proud. Those holy vessels. Right. right. You're a heathen. Right. Hey. You're supposed to be touching our shit. All the time. And that's your father hates pride, man. It tells you that in Proverbs, you got more than Proverbs of the Proverbs 6. Uh, I think it's 16 and 5. This is 
Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. It says, These six things do it, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh hate. So the Heavenly Father hates, man. Okay? The God of Israel hates. Hate is in the Bible. That's right. Keep reading on. It says, Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. The first on the list is a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. That's right. And heart that divides up wicked imaginations. That's talking about your mind. You know, Jake's mind is constantly thinking upon wickedness, man. How to add sin to sin, man. That's 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 evil in the sight of the eyes of the Lord, man. Keep reading on, it says what? Feet that be swift and running to mischief, a false witness that speak of lies, he that saw of discord among brethren. But the point is that verse 17, it says a proud look. Just because you can go to Starbucks, you're proud. Right. You can go to Whole Foods, you're proud. Right. Just because you go to seminary school, you're proud. Yeah. Oh. Just because you, you can walk your, down, uh, your dog down uh, uh, downtown, you're proud, right. you know. Just because you can come outside and wear your better first shade, you're proud, you right. know. Oh, hey, who woke you up this morning, man? Uh, the Heavenly Father. So a lot of people die, die in their sleep. This is Luke 12, I started verse 16. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully, plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, what shall I do? Because I have no more where to bestow my fruits. And he said, this is what I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. He wasn't thinking about giving to the poor. This man was rich, man. And build greater, and there, and there will I bestow all, all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, so, Thou hast much goods laid up for many years. He was going off so long because he got law. Supposed to leave some breaks, man. Exactly. Right. Yeah. right. So he was he was he was going against the scriptures, man. Exactly. He's thinking about himself. Mm -hmm. Yep. It says, take thine, take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. That's an Edomite uh, way of thinking. That's how right. he saw because he 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 you know wanted to accumulate wealth. Right. Rich, right. right? You don't need all that money. Right. What the fuck you need a, a, a 15 billion, 20 billion. You won't do with all that, that's man. Like, that's the that's the elite bankers, man. Right. That's why we got so much poor people in the world. Right. Because of the way you saw things. That's that greedy shit. That's that greedy fat bitch. Yeah. And you got you got Jake's in the same mindset. Right. Yeah. Like their father. Yeah. Verse 20. But God said, but God said unto him, Thou fool. This night thy soul shall be required of thee. All right, so the Heavenly Father, he's the, uh, the Father of Spirits at the end of the day. And tomorrow's not promised, man. Now, fool. That, that way of thinking, hey, that's a foolish thinking, man. You think you're just going to just continue to, uh, uh, you know, give in, give in to your pleasures, man? Then fools. Shall those things be which God has, to, uh, has provided? All right, but you can't take that with you. You can't take your Mercedes Maybach with you. You, know? you can't take your, uh, uh, your Bentley. You see, that's why Jake talked about YOLO. You only live once, so indulge. That's their mindset to indulge in the world. What does right. say? Love not the world. Right. That's the Edomite way of thinking, like Brother said. It tells you that in Wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter. No. No. Funny as thing is when you tell people that the Aka said you're not saying that. Love not the world. You did simple and plain. Love not the world. You say that? It's like you're talking a foreign language, right? I'm yeah, telling you. Because Esau is programmed their mind to love the world. Right. So to them, to them they're looking at you like, what? Right. That's great. Esau taught right. me to go to college, right. get a degree, go get a nice house, go get a car, go to raise a family. Right. And, and take a vacation, enjoy life. And leave back a, uh, uh, some money for Yeah, 401k, retirement. So that's the American way. Right. 
But us, uh, you know, of the whole free leg, we detox it from that, that right. way of being. Right. When you That's detox, right. you gotta, it's a process. Right. That's why we constantly repent. Because right. when you detox it, you gotta withdraw all those impurities and toxins out of you. And it takes time sometimes. Right. Every vessel got their own way, you know, own time of, of, of detox. There it is. Yes. If I make black, you look right, but it's like it's like we were all drunk off, you know, so we were all drunk off liquor and the electric. Now we're sober and we're telling those still slumbering around and hey, get your shit together, man. All right. <laughs> but you got it out. Yeah, here it is. You got the, the, the scripture telling you that we ought to obey the whole side rather than men. Yeah. And when a scripture like that comes out, that's so plain. Love not the world. But hey, the scripture said also, man, if our gospel be hit, it, it, it hit to those that are lost, who the God of this world is blinded, man, like the brother said. Well, you know, the Esau blinded, man. What's the one that he blinded? <laughs> man, they show you they're not reading. That's what I'm saying. They show you they're not reading. They let the, the, the pastors tell them everything. They're not reading. The scripture says, blessed is he that readeth. What's the one that he blinded? All I know is John 3 16, I'm saved. Right. He saw. Right. He told them that. <laughs> you people love the so far white man. Yeah, man. That's why you're scared to speak against them, man. Yeah. But through the spirit, we're not afraid. We're exposing this devil for who he is. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Dry bones come together being nourished and watered. And sinews put upon it. You know, it's prophecy, man. And that's how you know that the word of the Lord is going forward. And prophecy is coming forward. And there's nothing you can do. Nothing to, that's how you know these words are faithful and true. That's right. The scripture say that, you know, once, uh, 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 oh, like the brother said, and, and we wake it up to who we are, and fear fell upon them. Yeah, yeah. You know? So we know y'all scared. Because they know what that means. When we connect with our power, you know, they know what that means. When our power fights for us. You're supposed to be scared. You're supposed to be scared because he raises it every time and that goes dignity. That's right. Go ahead. You got something? No, go ahead. I wanted to go back on the Amor. No, he said that he's supposed to pay Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Charles and Men. In the book of Psalms, chapter 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh, than to put confidence in man. That's right. All right, so you're not supposed to be putting confidence in no scientists, in, you know, in, in no Barack Obama, in no Joe Biden. You're supposed to put all your trust, confidence into Yahweh, Bashir, Yahweh, because he's the only one who's going to get it out, out of this captivity in the state that we're in. Right. Let me tell you, trust the science. Right. Just right. the science. Hey. You think you know more than the scientists? Right. <laughs> they went to school. <laughs> What the Lord said, man. The Lord, when, when, when the Lord put us in captivity, the Lord said, "No man shall buy you, meaning redeem you, man." All right. The Lord said, "No man." So your Malcolm X and your Martin Luther, that they couldn't do it. Your Marcus Garvey, they couldn't do it. Okay. What's the other? What's the other guy? Uh, uh, Kevin Thomas couldn't do it. But what's the other one? Uh, uh, two uh, two uh, yeah. They're not. They're not fucking around, crew. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. 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 I'm sure Grandmaster Jay can be able to do it. He ran for president. <laughs> as a man. So that's a straight prophecy, man. The Lord comes back at that and giant power. So literally, no man is going to save us, man. It's going to be the Lord, Yahweh Shai. The true power, man. Yahweh Shai. This book of Sirach chapter 10, verse 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High and his heart is turned away from his maker. It don't matter where you turn to it, or where you turn to is the fact that you turn away from your power. So you can you can turn to a man, okay? You can turn to some other philosophy. You can turn to yourself. You can turn to money, you know? 
the black woman is God, all right, whatever it is, you you proud, man, because you're not acknowledging the most high, the true power. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. Hence the fact that when you look up, do a Google search on pride, the word pride. Hey, hey, what you going to look, what's going to pop up? The alphabet people, man. Right. Right. <laughs> that, that they are synonymous with the word pride. Right. Why? Because we just said, pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. Right. But to a man alive with mankind, that's an abomination. You see that? So you can start with the pride, it, it leads to you being a sodomite, yep. ultimately. And therefore, the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Right. The Lord has cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. Let me back you up real quick, brothers. This is Proverbs chapter 16, and verse 5. It says, everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Uh, it says, the Lord hath made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand joined in hand, he shall not be unpunished. That's right, so often the people too, you're not going to go unpunished, man. That's what the lake of fire is for. All right? They gave, they gave a, the perfect word to describe that so-called movement, the pride movement. Let's, let's, let's see how this show you we living in, in, in Yehovah Shemel Shah simulation. Uh, and a very a good example to show you how prideful they are because they take the Lord rainbow and make it their sign. Right. Well, how actually, prideful is that? That's that, that's the spirit. The Lord the Lord made them do that. Because what, what is the symbol of the rainbow go back to? Right. To the flood, right? right. Uh -huh. To show that he would never flood the earth again. Right. Which he with water. Right. right. What he's gonna do this time. Yep. Fire. Fire. So it's perfect. It's it, it's it's good y'all got the rainbow. Right. Uh-huh. You don't even know what the, what you're doing, right? But right, but we know through the spirit. Yeah, that's, that's very spiritual because it makes sense. Because you holding that sign, you're you're pushing. Basically, you don't even know, but you're pushing the promise the Lord made that right. He would not flood the earth again with water. Right. He's gonna flood it with fire. Exactly. Hence the lake of fire. Yep. That's how Babylon the Great is going out, man. Yep. Right. And Sodom and Gomorrah was set forth as an example. Or not, or not how to live. Why you had some? No, go ahead, bro. And, 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 and America has, has passed the deed of Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right. That's right. So, uh, like we should say, we would be here in Sodom and, in Sodom and Egypt. So, yep. we ain't got to explain the Sodom part. You know? Yep. This is Sodom 10.0. Yep. Yep. This place so bad, the sins have to preach the heavens. Exactly. Yep. So, yeah, they're talking about they want to send moves to aliens and shit. Right, right. That's, that's, that's the definition of the people. This place is Babylon, man. Like, it's confusion, man. Everything is turned upside down. This place is wicked. That's why destruction is coming, man. There's no peace here. Like, like I can say, the word peace, if you look it up, it goes into one of the cities. Order. There's no peace here, there's no order here. Everything is actually out of order. Alright? You got women wearing men's apparel, you got men wearing uh, women's apparel, alright? You got you be able to change, you know, so-called change. Yeah, so-called change, who you are. Yeah. Alright? But you can't change. You can change, you can cut your rod. Just because you cut your rod off don't make you a woman. Right. Exactly. Just because you cut your titties off don't make you a man. Right. Right. Science will tell you that idiots. Idiots that man. You trust the science so much. Right. That's the body part. What makes you a man is, is your spirit. Exactly. First and foremost, man. If you were, were a man in the ancient world, your, that, your spirit is locked already. You are a man. Right. 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 When, when they talk about the science, when when a woman, when a man ejaculates, his sperm, it's 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 male and female sperm already. Uh -huh. Now that also proves that life comes from the man. Uh -huh. Life don't come from you, damn women. Right. All right. The sex is already determined before the the, the seed is even uh, fertilized, before the egg is even fertilized, man. That's the trick of you when they tell you uh, uh, six weeks and that. It's alive already ready from, from the testicles of the man. Right. right. Esau, he'll hide certain information from you people to keep the woman 
uh, you know, head blown up in the society. Right. But he knows the truth. Right. He knows. He knows that the man is the progenitor of, of, of that. You know. Just like he knows when when the economy shuts down and all hell breaks loose, you women gonna be getting y'all y'all asses took up out here, man. That's right. Gonna be getting slaughtered. He's setting you up for failure, man. Yep. And he's gonna turn his back on you. And like the scriptures say, your lovers, oh all right, they're they gonna, they gonna despise you. They're gonna yep. turn, turn your back on you. All right. I got two quick ones. Uh, this is uh, First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 20. It says, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding vain, profane, and vain babblings, oppositions of science, falsely so called. You know, going into the, these people, they're trying to make science their God, man. All right? But, 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 but for the people on this side, our power is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? right? The scripture said the, the there'll be God's many and Lord's many, man. Right. All right? The scripture say uh, uh, the gods, the gods of, uh, 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 of the nations are idols. But, but the most I make the heaven and the earth, man. That's talking about Yahweh, man. That's right. That's right. All right? And uh, if I may say, what does the word science go back to? All right? To the Latin word, uh, scientia, which means to know. Make you the word knowledge, man. But the true knowledge is found in the scriptures. The Holy Scripture, the Holy Bible. We got the, the true right. science. That's right. We're the true scientists. That's right. All right? That's right. That's right. We, we, we understand how the world was made. Okay? How the, how the, how the, the Elohim, uh, starting with Yahweh Shai, leading the charge, formed the elements, and, and, and uh, shaped the earth together, man. How, how the, 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 the Lord separated the, 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 uh, the firmament from the, 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 the uh, he called it day and, and night. He separated the elements, which, you know, they tell you in school that the light comes from the sun. But the Bible tells you that the earth makes its own light, okay? Even even though it, the sun gives light too. But the scriptures also tell you the moon makes its own light, but the sun tell you they walk on the moon. Right. Bullshit. That's bullshit. Yep. That's why the scriptures say uh, science falsely called. Right. That's pseudoscience, man. Right. Uh, the, brother, the brother had the, uh, the meaning for the word vain. You still have it? Vain. It's the definition of vain. It says producing no result. And it says useless. Man, that's why, that's why, hey, that's why the, and Job said what? They are positions of no value. Hold on. It's Job chapter 13 and verse 4. It says, but ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all positions of no value. That's what the brother just said. Nothing. 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 Yeah. Useless, man. Hey, and, Fauci. Now you got it, So I was just going to say, doctor, you look at the etymology of the word doctor, yeah. it, it means basically to forge. Right. right. To, 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 to falsify. falsify yeah. All right, that's why you have a crime you have a crime scene and you try to hide the evidence or, or you try to forge a document or something, they say you doctored it. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. 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 He doctored the crime right. scene. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you want to go to a doctor when you sick, you want to go right. to a doctor to help you. The scripture says you're supposed to go to a physician. Right, right. Exactly. That's right. Hey, you, you got to go to a man of the Lord. That's right. You know? That's right. But the scriptures say, really, you know, when you get sick, you you know, in the flesh, you do get sick. But at the end of the day, you know, you take the herbs. The scripture says you take the herbs and you pray to the Most High, because the Most High really makes you sick and He heals you. That's right. It's Him, really. Right. You know what I'm saying? Most High your wounds and He heals. Exactly. Right. You know, but I got a quick one, real quick. First Corinthians two, First Corinthians one and twenty. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not the Most High made fool, made foolish the wisdom of this world? So the wisdom of this world is, is, is complete foolishness, and when you wake up to the truth, you see that. Right. We see it every day. Every day. Dysphoria. Yep. That's foolishness, man. Yep. That's, 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 that's the wine of Babylon. Exactly. A lot of you people are drinking of the wine of Babylon. A lot of you people are confused. Yep. Confused going into the, the herb, the physicians, and the, the, the doctor. You. Like the brother said, you're supposed to see a physician. Right. You know, when you go to the Esau, he gives you some shit with a long ass name where we all meant for cobalism or whatever. Right. You're supposed to take the herbs. Right. 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 And, and a lot of times those, those different drugs and chemicals, where they get them from, a lot of times they get them from the herbs. Exactly. They right. extract different compounds yeah. and elements right. and they remix it. Yep. Right. You know? That's and, right. But they don't... Make they, it synthetic. They make it synthetic or yeah, they uh, reverse uh, engineer certain, which is what they call uh, synthesis. The, you know, uh, shit that's already the Lord made. And they try to, uh, you know, that's what GMOs, GMOs is all about. 
you know, the Lord, when the Lord said, we read Genesis, one thing he made the different herbs and, and the grass and all, he said it was good. But here comes Esau, oh, it's not good enough. We got we to cross a tomato with a, with a, uh, a last year's flounder DNA so we grow in the cold. Fucking devil. Yeah, that's the spirit here says you as food. And we, we, we know only the Lord can add four years onto your life, man. Okay? A physician, a physician can't do that. Right. Only the Lord can do that, man. Well, that's in the scripture where he did it with Hezekiah. Okay, Asa. You know, you know? He, he saw right. he sought not the physician. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, yeah. I mean, he sought not the, uh, the most high. Right. He sought the physician. Right. Because right. right. really, you know, you're supposed to pray to the most when you, when you, even when you get sick, you're supposed to pray to the most high first and foremost. Right, right, right. 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 Then you take the herbs and ask the Lord, you know, to right. heal me. Right. That's but what, what people do, they go straight to Esau. Yeah, that's right. what they do. And the Lord, he gets you. That's why the majority of these people, when they caught that shit, they went in there and they ain't leave out. That's right. They, they, took, the, right. they took the sauce. They ain't leave out because right. they trusted that man. Right. They took the sauce. You know what I'm saying? That's why the second edge of 16 says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. Right. Right. Hey, uh, it's a spirit because I, uh, I did a lesson this morning. Okay, you had in the news that uh, the first human animal uh, organ transplant guy, he received a pig heart yeah. a couple months ago, and he fucking died, he died man. man. They call him a lot of shots. But he, he lived, they, they say he lived. <laughs> yeah, he lived for, for two months. Yeah, he lived for, he lived for two months, and then he died. Good. Right. But, you know, but that's, that's witchcraft. That's straight up witchcraft, straight man. Up. I, I was saying, if you got a, a, a voodoo man, right, a witch, he got the hat and the robe and the, and the wand and all that, um, and then, you know, he say, here, eat this pig heart, and then you'll live longer. Somebody say, oh, no, I'm not dealing with that. That's uh, right, man. Right. <laughs> but, but a man coming to you with a white lab coat and, <laughs> and a stethoscope, right, yeah. glasses and clipboard, right. and say, here, we're going to cut you open and take your heart up and put a pig Which heart, is? and that's science. Or, or, or even in the, 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 the snake juice, right. he told you what was in it. Right. You know, uh, you know, the bum and the, I ain't gonna get into it because last time I said it, you know, they, they, they chopped it down. You know, I'm not gonna say it, but a lot of you know that there are abominations in that thing, man. There are no uh, ox or clean, lawful animals in, in that thing. Out of all the animals, a big, strong uh, a ox. You pick a pig? Right. And then and, and they when they looked, they said they looked it up, they said the pig already had a virus. <laughs> so they, they could have just they by doing that they could have created a new fucking virus, man. Right. And, and it would have been a new pandemic. <laughs> but you saw don't they don't think like that, man. Right. So if they do think like that, then they say, well if it does happen, that's good. We can make some shuffles off that. <laughs> Uh, 
man. That shit poison, man. Fucking Ritz and shit. Right. Check soda. Check, yeah, check. Right. 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 Well, you know, low and bow. Before the whole family. Before the whole family, the brother had made about the guy who put the, 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 the pig you know, in his chest, the pig heart. Right? Now, we know he was an Edomite. But just to show you what off, how off he was, this is uh, Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. It says, And the swine, though he divided the hoof, uh, be cloven, feed it, put it, yet he chewed not the cut. He is unclean to you. Right. This is the point. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. And their carcasses shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. So the Lord said, we even supposed to touch them. Right. This guy have it inside of him. <laughs> could, you you know imagine, could you imagine the type of thoughts that nigga was having this guy? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, so, you know, Jake got the swan, it get mad at you. God. They, they say, well, I should throw my food when I eat it. Some niggas say swine is divine. <laughs> oh, I literally heard, I literally heard a black woman say, it was it was uh so-called Thanksgiving, it was that big feast day, right? And uh you know how they, they put the, the pork in the collard greens. They take something that's healthy and put the pork, you just right. completely right. fucked the whole shit right. up. Right. And this bitch said, uh well somebody else said, yeah, I got collard greens, got pork, but they got pork in it though. This bitch said, Thank God I eat pork. Uh, see? It marred it. Marred the collard greens. <laughs> oh shit! Pork, pork is an idol to you people, man. That's an idol, man. You people worship pork, That's especially, true. especially you, uh, uh, uh so-called Cubans, right? Yep. I see you saw uh, promoting, you know, the bacon eaters, right? Right. Oh, the, the bacon smooth, the, the, the baby back, baby back, the baby back uh, ribs. Oh, it's you saw. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's called some call it a burger fire bacon. Um, Oh, yeah. 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 It's a whole meal, like the bacon on everything. <laughs> that's the accuser of our brother. Who right. Esau eat them, man. Right. Yep. That's who's behind it. That's, that's who's behind it. It's so far white, man. Yep. Eat them like this. Another thing, too, uh, those seafood boils and shit like that, man. Yep. Right. That's a god in America, man. You see oh, that? The black woman. Right. That's, that's, that's black right. woman shit right there. That's a delicacy. You're not finna tell me I'm not finna eat shrimp. The black woman got rich off of eating uh, seafood crab boys, man. Right. And you notice as she kept doing it, she, her face kept getting puffier and puffier and puffier. Right. Right. She go by the name of Beloved. Yep. You know? And, and you can only imagine her box smell like. Ooh. I got something real quick, Matthew 8 and 31. So the devils besaw him saying, if thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of the swine. That's right. So the, yeah, how was y'all cast demons out into swine, man? Right. Yeah. But but why did why the demons ask to go into the swine? Right. Out of all the animals, animals why right. they ask send us in the swine? Right. Yep. But it's an un, it's an unclean uh, vessel, man. That's you unclean, it. it's easier for demons like unclean shit. Right. Yep. Yeah. That's where they want to be. Right. right. That's where they want to be. That's right. When you read the law, the Most High is a clean a clean God. Right. You notice that when you when you when you go through the law. You know how you had, to, you had to had to wash up, and you know the priests had to do particular things. They had to be clean to do particular things in the, in, in the temple and stuff like that. Man. Very clean. The Lord said, "Don't even go up on the step. Walk up the step." You know. Right. Without your underground, you die. Yeah. You got to run. There's the Book of Isaiah, chapter 66, seven, oh, verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves. In the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh. Oh, you got to yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's a future prophecy. It's a future prophecy. Chapter Isaiah, uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire. You see that? Ooh. The God of the Bible coming with fire. And with his chariots, like the whirlwind, which is the so-called UFO, to render his anger with fury. And it's rebuke with flames of fire. The God of Israel, he's angry, man. He's angry at you people. But you people love wickedness. He's come, he's come. Read it again. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So all you fools are the chariots. And guess what? They spit out laser beams of fire, man. Gonna zap you people, man. It's a definition of purity. 
violent or violent anger, or the definition of violence or energy displayed in a natural phenomenon or in someone's actions. Right. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah is going to get busy upon you people, man. Right? You people are not seeking the God of Israel. We're talking about you Israelites. You're not, you don't care about the God of Israel. You don't care about the gospel, the good news. You don't care about his laws and his commandments. You're not trying to amend your ways. That's why they're going to partake of that second trouble. Yep. That's why the, uh, the Lord got mechanical dogs. Yep. You know, for, for Jake. So, That's really for you, Jakes, man. Right. When, when Esau let them dogs loose, going to run all them projects and shit. You get y'all, man. And they let Jake run it. Let him run it. That ain't going to be that. That ain't gonna be running, man. That's the spirit. Bro. That's the spirit. Well, that, we 16. <laughs> For by fire and by his sword will the Lord flee without flesh. He's gonna judge all flesh. Read it up. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord flee with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh. And the abomination and the mouth shall be consumed together, said the Lord Yahweh. Yep. And that being behind one tree in the midst, they're talking about you, Jason, up in these churches. Okay? You you up in the uh, you know what in the ancient time, right, Jake what they, they were like to go into the woods. Alright, that's where you get the word pagan. When you look up the word pagan, it means in, in, in the woods. Okay? In the in the groves, in the thick groves. Where the trees will cover up the sky, yep. and they think the most I don't see them, man. Right. That's that's what the modern day churches is. Yep. Yep. All right. And if I may add, real quick, when you watch certain uh, movies with witches, where are they, where they, where they, where they houses at? In the woods. Yep. Majority of the witches lives, they live in the woods, man. Yeah. Nature, man. Nature is hawks and owls. Exactly. Uh, man, it's so incredible. Where, where was the witch at? In the woods, man. Door, and if you, if, 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 if
how is Yahweh Shai not that the door to his prophets? Alright? That's the thing for the people that do is take heed. You know? Last verse, verse 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat, but he shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but he shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but he shall be ashamed. Because it's going to be a global famine. Okay, it's a bunch of articles coming out on what, food shortages. All right, food scarcity, a global uh, famine. Even Creepy Joe was talking about a uh, famine. Right. 
and his name is Esau Edom, so-called right. white man. Down right. with the elite bankers. They're telling you people the truth. That's right. That's right. They change all the ordinances. Yeah, I was going to finish reading it. Uh, one more verse. Let's put some more on verse 2. It says, In what matter of man the ruler of, of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And you, <laughs> hey, you people, wow. You, you, you taking on the philosophies of Babylon the Great. That's right. Therefore, you just like the so called yep, white. Yep, yep, yep. Just like uh, uh, Esau Edom. Just like. Hey, hey, your, your, leader, your leader is broken in the noonday. You just know, like, yep. handshaking people that's not there. Right. You know? Most of oh. know what you are anymore. He's growing. Oh. <laughs> <Who are you? laughs> yeah. 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 Now, I got a little oh, bit no, more. No, no, no. Verse 3. An unwise king destroyed his people, right. but through but through the prudence of them which are in which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Read again. An unwise king destroyed his people. All right, who is that unwise king? Huh? Esau Edom. That's right. That's right. Guess what? People are being destroyed. Mentally, physically, spiritually. But not, not the remnant. Okay? Because the remnant, what? The remnant is following your how about shot. That's right. Alright? Right. Right. The remnant is not going to conform to this man image. That's right. To his way of life. Right. We're spiritually departing from the ways of Babylon the Great. Through the spirit. Right, right. Got it. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Through the wisdom. That's right. Through the wisdom of him that is in authority. Right. That's why Yahushua is coming back. The wisest man ever. Right. Go ahead, you got it, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is the point. <laughs> All right. And this verse that I'm about to read goes with what the brother Yerubia read in Proverbs 29 and 2. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. Start with your house side. That's right. King David. Yep. The men on down. That's right. Read again. Verse 4. The power of the earth. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. Right. The heavenly father sets up whom he wants to. That's right. Jacob is the end of Jacob, Esau's end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. That's right. So who's up next to rule? That's right. Jacob. That's right. The Israelites. Okay? Like that brother, uh, brother Yorah read in Daniel 2 and 21. Hey, the Lord set up us, the Lord remove it and set up up kings, man. All right, the Lord's in control. And in Daniel 4 and 17, it says the Lord, uh, the Lord dwells in the kingdom of men. Yes. All right, Psalm says the Lord, uh, bring one down, set up another. Right. All right, good. Good. it says the, the power of the earth is, is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time, he will set over it one that is prophesied. In due time, man. Right. Hey, and it's, and it's, it's about that time, you know, that the Israelites will rule. That's right. And, the, and we're going to be ruling in the kingdom in righteousness, man. That's right. All right? Isaiah, Isaiah 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born. That's your album shot. Whom you people don't like, whom you people despise for some reason. Why? Because he's a so called black man? It out. Unto us a son is given, right, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty Power, right. the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Right. Of the increase of his government and peace, there should be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it. Right. To order it, to establish it, man. Okay. It's gonna be righteousness in the kingdom, man. No more death, no more sorrow for the Israelites, man. No more pain, no more migraines and headaches. No more GMO foods. So we're waiting for your house, our big brother, to come back to save us, man. That's right, right. To deliver us from this captivity, from this hell. That's right. But we, to this very day, we're what? Slaves, man. We're in right. captivity. Right, right. Under the so called white man. You got more of this, with judgment and with justice. With judgment and with justice, man. True justice, man. True judgment. The judgment is slack over here. 
That's why Jake said, no justice, no peace. Well, thou says, Jake, you're not going to receive justice over here. You're not going to receive no peace over here. There's no peace unto the wicked. Who's ruling? The wicked. And the majority of so-called Negroes and Latinos are wicked, man. From henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Will perform this. It's going to happen. Okay? In the kingdom of righteousness being established, man. The new covenant. Being established. Being, being, being on the forefront. The new covenant is when the, the Israelites will have the, the laws and the commandments in their inward parts. They will never go off. We, we preaching the gospel, the good news. That's all we doing. That's it. We're telling you people the truth. For free. Uh, as brother was going into house, no judgment in this place, man. It's um, Isaiah chapter uh, 59 and verse 14. It says, A judgment is turned away backward, a justice standing afar off. For truth is fallen in the street, and equity cannot enter. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil, making himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. You know, like the brother was saying, man, righteous judgment doesn't go forward here. All right? You're going to get true judgment, uh, true justice when the Lord returns. All right? Especially for that uh, 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 that recompense that uh, for slavery, man. Uh, uh, what's, the, what's, what's the word they use again? Uh, reparations. Reparations. But we're going to get true, 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 true reparations biblically, man, through the Lord. You don't, we don't need your fiat currency. Yeah. You know? We, we already found out what you jakes would do with money anyway. We right. found out through the stimulus checks. Right. You're just going to give right back to Esau. You still got, there's still curses on you. So the money ain't gonna do you any good, man. Right. You need wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Right. That's that's what you need first. Right. That, that, they might give you they might give you some money, and then you might see prices increase. Jake, right? Jake, Jake, Jake already didn't have the money. They had a, they were uh, sitting on the boy, man. They was giving stimulus check. You Jackson, if you had reparations, you wouldn't do nothing. All this build up the black community. Y'all ain't hitting on nothing, man. Yeah. It came out that the. Uh, the Black Lives Matter, the, uh, <laughs> the witch. Yeah, yeah, the witch. Right. They got, they got that. They, they got a big ass mansion, uh, man. She, well, she, she have a couple of them. She have a couple of them. Yeah, man, they millionaires. Look at that. <laughs> Y'all <laughs> donate to them, and she don't even care about you. Man. <laughs> and they're abominable too at that. So yep. doing wicked things. Yep. They, they, See? They don't care about you, man. They, 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 they a gift to stir up the heart, man. Who's behind that Black Lives Matter? George Soros. Right. Edomite. Uh, Edomite. Amalek at that. Right. Mm -hmm. If I may say, uh, you know, it be, it be these, it be these Edomites behind these different things. What's, who's behind uh, Parent, uh, Parent, uh, 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 uh Margaret, Margaret Sanger. Sanger. Margaret Sanger, man. Right. She was the devil. Right. You see? And who bigged up Margaret Sanger? Uh, what the fuck? Uh, Bill? Is it Kill Bill? Bill related to Martin yeah, Saint, man. Hillary Clinton, man. Right. Clinton, man. You see, well, you people wanted to vote for her. You people love her. You like her all of a sudden. Now you see what people, uh, you, 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 uh, you women out there, you for abortion, man. You see that? You trying to murder, you trying to murder the children, man. That's wrong, man. Kill the baby. <laughs> That's not enough oh, judgment here, man. Hey, read that again. I, I got another one. Uh, this is Habakkuk chapter 1 and verse 4. It says, Therefore the Lord is slack, and judgment do never go forth. For the wicked do come past above the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceeded. Right. Wrong, wrong judgment, judgment man. It's wrong judgment here, man. But guess what? It's like you real quick. The Lord said, 2 Peter chapter 3, he said, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. That's going into that fervent heat, man. That's going to come. The Lord is like uh, concerning his promise, man. What he promised is going to happen. That's for sure. You're not going to find true justice on this side. Nope. Right. Especially from the devil. Right. You know, what we always speak about sometimes is there was a Jake who had, you know, he thought that those five children was his. Oh, right. man. Right? I think it was what, six. Huh? Six, maybe six. Yeah. And Esau, see, if you, if you go to the corner and say, my wife cheated on me, 
He said he ain't gonna do shit. Right. If, yeah, if you sign the birth, birth certificate, right. he's not gonna do anything. You, can do. you know what I'm saying? But he doesn't, he's not, you know, gonna, gonna plead your cause. Right. He's actually gonna <laughs> penalize you. Right. Because that's why the, the Jake killed the, the, her. Right. You know, because he found out that those six children were not his. Right. And guess what? In the Esau system, you still gotta take care of them right. kids. Right. That's it. Right. Right. When you find out they ain't yours. Right. Because when you decide, that's wicked. That's wicked, man. Like your brother Ray. It ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna find no peace, no justice here, man. Right. If, if a woman, you get a woman pregnant and, and she can kill your baby. Yeah, you know I know that, bro. But if, you know, if, if uh, you don't wanna have the baby and she wanna have it, you, you gotta pay child support. Yeah. Right. See that? This system is to keep the Jake man out. That's right, right man. Yep, yep. See? That's right, brother. That's right. Yo, this, uh, mm -hmm. You got it, my brother. Uh, I was going to say, uh, Eddie Yashwama had uh, re reposted a clip. And then it was a clip where he had uh, this uh, dude and uh, different people that was calling uh, Planned Parenthood uh, agencies and uh, centers, uh, abortion clinics and whatnot. And they were saying, yeah, I want to donate. But I want to make sure my money goes to uh, the abortions of black babies. <laughs> and and then wow. yeah, the, yeah, wow. the, yeah the, the, the women on the other line say, yeah, that's cool, yeah, fine. fine. See that? And they'll say, yeah, I want, I want, you know, because there's too many black people in this world anyway. What the? And, and the woman goes, ah, because ah, ah. it's true. She she know, she know that in her mind she said she never. See, these even must already think like that. <laughs> Look up Margaret Sanger quotes. <laughs> So what's about Bubba Castell? Look up Margaret Sanger quotes on, on, on African Americans or Negroes or whatever. Let, let us cut them off for being a day. That's a truth. That's a real thing, man. When, when, when that whole, all that shit she was talking about, Margaret Sanger, about, uh, you know, it's better for a child to be killed than to be brought up in a family of, of low income and whatnot. She was talking about uh, so-called black children, man. Right. She wasn't talking about her own, the own white babies and whatnot, man. Yeah. Yep. Because there are reports of eating mice going extinct. They're not reproducing at the rate of, 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 of what they're supposed to. Right. Because you eat a mice, you, the Lord is, is plaguing you, man. Right. You not having children is a that's a curse. Right. right. Because the scriptures, like in, in the curses, is, I mean, in the blessings and the curses, it says, "Blessed should be the fruit of thy womb." Right. You know, "Blessed should be your, your fruit." So you're cursed, Esau. Right. Right. If you if you if you kill a, a woman, you get homicide. But if you kill a pregnant woman, you get double homicide. But a woman can kill her baby, and it's okay though. It was just a clump of cells. Right. Right. What type of shit is that? What the? On this side, they give it to the woman. Man. You got you got something? Yeah, yeah bring it up. Bust me up. Bring them, bring it up. That's what Marky Singer said. He said, and and uh, and Hillary Clinton's too. It, it, it was too bugged out. You know, you, you know how to maneuver around. So. <laughs> I said, he said, what? He says, we don't want the word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. And then, and then, this is the mother of so-called mother of Planned Parenthood. Yep. The, the 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 founding mother. She's related to Kill Bill. Yeah, that's a Planned Parenthood by the hospital. That's huh? far from here. Wow. And they never closed down. They always right. It's right there. It's a Planned Parenthood, and then there's a hospital right there, bro. It's really, it's really, it's really, not, not too far from here. When you really look, they're everywhere. When you really, when you really look, they're all over the place. Is that more? That's more? Yeah. Henry said, I admire Margaret Sanger enormously. enormously. So she's supposed to think like that. All right. She's All right. in the right spirit because she's an Edomite. And you, but you, Jakes, you love Edomites. You love people that absolutely hate you, man. The more they hate you, the more you love them. Wow. <laughs> hey, the scripture said we the salt of the earth. All right? These people, they don't like you, man. All right? 
because you got those blessings. And guess what? There's no new thing under the sun. Guess what? Remember, they did that in Egypt, man. They come against our babies in Egypt. They did it in the time of Herod, yep. right? Yep. Antiochus, they didn't want us to keep our laws and circumcise our, our children. They always keep up against us, man. Yep. Psalm 73. They tried to curse us. Yeah. Coming up out of Egypt, trying to go up in our land. Yeah. Tried to, when he saw the people, he tried yeah. to curse he us. He saw all the people. He was like, oh, hell no. And to this he day, yeah, like so what the brother's going into, into, we're talking about Margaret, uh, uh, what's the name again? Margaret Sanger. Yeah. Yeah. Showing you there's no new thing on this side. It's coming from way back right into this time. But guess what? The people are still here on this side, right? The Lord said, unless they, and they move those ordinances, then shall the seed of Israel disappear. Right the ground present. That's not going to happen. Right. The Lord gave you an impossible time. Right. And another thing, too, what they say, they say, we the minority. Right. We know that's a lie. Okay? Because the Lord said the number of the children should be at the side of the seat. Right. Ain't nobody, we the majority, man. Right. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We the majority, man. Everywhere you go, you're going you're gonna to find it. We make the most babies. <laughs> right. He saw you, man. But he ain't going to tell you that because you're going to get ideas like, hold on, there's more of us? Okay, maybe That's they're going to start they getting thoughts. Like, maybe we can take them on now, you know? <laughs> when they say minority, really what they're saying is you are nobody, really. Right. That's essentially what they're saying. But you are you so-called Israelite women, you you for Planned Parenthood, mm -hmm. you for abortion. You see? I look, I look to the right, I see Eve over there. See? I got, I got Psalm 33. This is Psalm 33 and 1. Keep not thy silence, O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. The hidden ones are the Israelites. Right. They're taking crafty counsel. They're doing that to this very day. Right. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may, may be no more in remembrance. So they know who we are. Right. It's just that you, you, you chase out there don't know who you are. You see? We tell you people who you are. You're the Israelites. You got it, bro. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And all these heathens consulted together with one consent. That's to destroy us. Yep. Start with Esau, eat them on down. That's right. Two guys on people. Yep. Right. Got it, bro. It says the tabernacles of Edom mm -hmm. and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarenes, Jabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines, with the inhabitants of Tyre. Mm -hmm. Ashur also is joined with them. They have hoping the children of Lot, Selah. So the Lord he gave us a breakdown already, man. You know? And, and the scriptures tell you in Sirach chapter 12, never trust thine enemies. Right. <laughs> I don't mean, you know, but it said, you find out saying that every camp. Yeah, right. You know? And what this this juice was to exterminate you Jakes. That was for you because they pushed that on you Israelites first. They said, you know, uh, you know, you guys are living in a poverty stricken neighborhood, so we gotta get this thing out of you first. They said that. Oh, it was a slip up. They said the Negroes, Latinos, and Native, they actually said that. Latinos and Native, they actually said that. They said, we gotta, we gotta get that to you first. For free, and they was giving you lap dances, they was giving you cheeseburgers, weed, donuts, chicken. So what the fuck? Krispy Kreme donuts. But when you need a job, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you know, when it's time for you to go get a job, you, you catch hell when you try and go get a, a, a so-called good job in this world. Right. right. Well, when, oh, juice, take it, yeah, 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 cheeseburger. Right. What the <laughs> fuck? Hey, what that lady said? I ain't thinking, no. I ain't looking up no ingredients. <laughs> I ain't doing no research. I ain't asking no questions. All right. I'm sticking my arm out, and I'm taking it. Yep. So they put the black woman up there, you yep. see? Right. Hey man, the serpent beguiled Eve, man. Right. <laughs> to the very day we seen that the hey Eve is Eve is Eve is, is, is and, and the serpent they 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 they, they, they like friends, they're married, they that, buddies, man. That's why Kevin Samuels is dead. He was the enemy of the black woman. 
Yeah, the yeah, goat. The goat. <laughs> <laughs> they got a, a saying, I forget uh, who said it. But uh, they said, if you want to find out who who is, just find out who you can't speak against. Yeah, I remember, I remember that video. Yep. And, and Esau and Eve, you know, they, they, they little buddies. Yeah. You know? Two, the two people you can't you can't say nothing against, man. That's true. The so-called white man and the so-called black woman. Oh, they gonna come for your head, man. The whole world. That's true. <laughs> and, and and speaking with these um everything that's going on with the so-called you know the, the Roe versus Wade, right? Who who's the number one people pushing for uh, abortion? Uh, feminists, right? Right. Who's a real hardcore feminist? Right. Ain't, isn't she a lesbian? The, yep. the, the most hardcore feminists you find right. <laughs> are, are, are lesbos. Right. Yep. Yep. They, who's getting lesbos pregnant? Mm. So the people, the number one people that's pushing for abortions ain't even getting pregnant. Right. So who's it really for, man? Right. Yep. Wow. When you look up feminism uh, origins, that was really Edomite started that. Yeah, yeah. But Which is, you, you, you Jakes, they pushed that on you Jakes too, man. Right. And they knew that that would destroy the, the so-called uh, black man household. Uh, and right. it did. And just like the serpent in the garden, these women was looking for a way up, another way. Yeah. So Esau told them of another way. The, the, the Edomite woman told the, uh, 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 the nigger woman of another way. You can could, you could, you could work, you can have a job. You don't have to listen to your husband. Right. Furthermore, they want him out of the house. You could be your own boss, right? You can go to college and get more knowledge. Right. And Kevin Samuel used to bring out that information how prior to the uh, feminism, how he said so-called blacks were married at a higher rate. Right. And then right. feminism right. came. You know, he was bringing that, you know, he brought out some truth, yeah. you know, but he was he was wicked, you know? So and he had no hedge protection over him, so he had to go. Also, he wasn't a man of the Lord anyway. Right, right. He wasn't no prophet. Right. Like at the end of the day, the most high is not a respect of persons, man. Right. Hey, you know. Yeah, but hey, guess what? The nigga woman and you two third Drake's gonna have to pay, man. I got a quick one. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 30. It says, Woe well to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that took counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. That they might add sin to sin. What spirit you covering yourself in? Uh, you know? You covering you covering yourself in the spirit of the so-called white man. Because why? He's in the power seat. Right. You see? Read again, brother, from the top. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, meaning, said the Lord. Meaning death and destruction, man. Mm -hmm. Woe means death and destruction. Mm -hmm. right. The rebellious children are, are you tribes. Are you tribes? Are you tribes? Rebellious. Mm -hmm. Very day. That take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, right. that they may add sin to sin. Jake said, I love God. What is his name? What name you coming in, you know? Mm -hmm. What name you preaching? What, what, what's his name? Oh, his name is JC. That's not his name, man. Right. God know my heart. Right. <laughs>
This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. All day, all day that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Alright, so this, this is where the life is, man. Alright, this is this is your uh this is your guide. This is your life, man. Okay? If you ain't living by it, you know, you move you in death, man. Okay? You in death, man. Yeah, that's what the scripture said, man. He that wandered all of the way of understanding shall be the congregation of the dead. That's right. Spiritually, man. Yes, God, but death is knowledge. That's right. All right. The scripture speaks about uh, 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 the scriptures are able to make you wise on the salvation. So you need this. That's right. You need this, man. Nope. Go ahead, man. Yes. Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. It said that whosoever would not seek the Lord, yeah, how much you want to sign that power of Israel to be put to death, but it's on a rape and a woman. Right. So it, that's plain, man. It don't matter who you is. If you're not seeking the Lord, you should die. You the small, great. It don't matter if you were a small little child or not. It don't matter. Right. Heavenly Father, he. Sends out judgment every day. That's right. right. Hey, if you don't have that you don't, you don't matter if you're born, infant, are you are hundred years old, you're grand. You know that that's you've done. The wall is the is the exceptional judgment. That's right. Lord willing, we have that with those the, the, the wall. Right. Lord willing, we're exceptional judgment.
saying to the seers, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. Our people love smooth things, you want to hear smooth things. 2022 is going to be your year. Right. You see? Oh, you put this amount of money in the collection pot, you want to get this and get that. That's BS, man. You want to hear deceits. You want to hear lies. Verse 11, it says, get ye out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, well, that's, 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 that's why when we read that scripture, the Jake comes and says, I don't want to hear what the Bible, tell me what you think. <laughs> right. it, isn't it funny how multiple Jakes come and say the same shit? You know, niggas that never met each other, but they'll come, you know, they probably believe in two different bug doctors, but they'll come here and say the same shit. Like a fucking program? Because they are. It doesn't matter what we believe. We're not up here to preach <laughs> what we believe. We're up here to preach the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's it. Yeah, what I may say too, Jake, Jake probably be doing that. So Jake, like, because there ain't no life and correction in the right ways in this book. Yeah. So fuck that. Let me hear what you got to say. That's what we read in John the third chapter. Yeah. Yeah. He just come in. The light, trust that deeds should be reproved. Right. They don't want to be reproved. Right. They want to do wicked. They want to do evil. There's a judgment for that. He don't want you to read out of the book. He hoping for you to say something wrong so he can say ah, but so he can justify himself. Right. You know that's why he don't want you to read out of the book. Exactly. Yep. Jake, Jake, Jake is the lost cause. Jake, Jake don't want you to read the words that are in the scriptures. A little more than Isaiah. Yes, sir. It says, uh, verse 12, Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because he despised this word, and trust in oppression, and perverseness, and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in the high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces, he shall not spare, so that there shall not be found in the bursting of the shred, shed, to take fire from the heart, or to take water with the oath of the pit. Right, so you niggas gonna get broken down to the very last compound. Right. Okay? It's since you since you wanna since you love Babylon so much, since you love the white man so much, okay, you don't wanna repent, turn back to Yahweh by showing your son? Okay? When the judgment comes. It's going, you're going to get caught off guard, man. It's just going to be like a, like, a, like a breaking instantly, man. But it said like a swelling and, and a high wall, which means you can see the wall. You can see the wall breaking and starting to come. You see it like it's swelling up, like it's shit about to break. But your ass, you're still sitting at a dinner table eating your, your, your seafood boil and shit. Right. And the fucking roof by the cave in on your ass, and you won't even want to move. It's like, like a slow leak. Right. Uh, they, get bigger. they get the pot, they get a bucket. Right. And another one coming for another bucket. And that's that adjustment running down like waters. This is Judges 10 and 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. You, you people have made Esau your God. So go, go cry to Esau, man. Go to the FEMA, when they, when, when they set up them FEMA camps, and they say, come on, we're going to help you, we got the food, food we got the water. Go right up in there. They, they are. Right. A lot of you uh, Negroes, uh, he's going to have to come and get y'all. Y'all going right. A lot of y'all going to go, come on, girl. Right, 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 <laughs> you and your five, six badass children, y'all going to go. And y'all ain't coming out. Yeah, right. yeah, you know why? That's going to happen because they choose not to get this spiritual food. They ain't, they ain't trying to get the spiritual food, the real food. I wish I spoke about those men who were following him for food, for, for, food, for, for carnal physical food. Right. They fall in behind the Lord. They were, you know, they, they were right. just there for the food. Right. But the That's spiritual Jake. food, they wasn't trying to eat up. Right. You know? That's you know, where everything free at Jake there, man. Right. So if they eat something, come to tell you, come get some food. We got food for you. know, We know it's no food in the markets. Y'all gonna go get it, man. They ain't eating two days. He say you got some food. You gonna, yeah, you, you just gonna come in groves. Right. And your father gonna put a spread up on you to go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he gonna tag you. He gonna tag you up 
in them camps, man. I'm gonna tag you with that thing. <laughs>
But the, the most high, he, he wants to test your integrity. That too. And he, the scriptures say that the most high hate of sinners and he keeping them to the damn destruction. He want to keep, he's hope, he's waiting to destroy you. But he, he he's long suffering. He's giving you, he's giving you a chance to repent. Even though he know the wicked of our people not gonna repent, because they because they are a naughty generation, and he already set it up for them to not repent, but he's letting it play out. So when the judgment comes, you can't say you ain't know, you can't say that, you know, you ain't here, or the Lord ain't give you time to repent. Second Ezra's nine and eleven. They that, they that have clothed my law, why they have yet liberty? And when as yet place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it. That goes to say that the law is not done away with, man. Just said it. Right. Ezra was talking about in future times. Right. Future prophecy, man. But by them saying that the law is done away with, that's you loathing the law of the most high. Even, let, let's say, you know, you know, we know the Most High said it like that. You know, we know the truth. The, the law is in effect. But let's say the Most High did say, you know, what he did. He said, we say it by grace, right? right. We, we say it by faith through grace, but we still establish the law, right? Who, who is he going to choose? Those that just saying that the law is done away. We don't got to keep all the ones that's, that's, that actually love his law and understand the wisdom of it. And if they see that it's, it's good for you and they want to do their best to actually walk that way. Who do you think you're going to choose, man? You're going to choose those who are actually rehearsing the righteous acts. Who are actually rehearsing it. You know? We have plantation Christians actually calling themselves as saved already. But the scripture right. promised no man tomorrow. Right. Before you have to say, Lord, will. But they tell you they saved, man. <laughs> Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 9, verse 12. For man also knoweth not his time, <laughs> as the fishes that are taken in the evil net. And as the birds that are caught in a snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. Like a, like a school of fish? Right. And they, they just swimming, doing their fish thing, don't know what the hell's going on up above the surface. Right. And you got a, meanwhile, you got a boat. They just cast out the net and just catch all them fish, man. Right. That's, how, that's how the majority of these people are. They just like, they fish. They just fish swimming, doing their fish thing. They don't understand what's going on on the on the in the heavens, right? They don't understand the heavenly father and the angels is preparing a judgment for them, man. Right. That word suddenly keep coming up. You see, that's why we tell you to repent. The yep. scriptures say to make no tarry and to turn to the Lord. That's right. You got it? Go ahead, brother. Four, five and seven. Make no tarry and to turn to the Lord upon the off from day to day. Right. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Mm. And in that security, that shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah, your security. That means something that you feel in your mind that you're secure. Okay? In your own house, your He's own safe. palace, your safe place. You know? The Lord will reach you and meet you anywhere you at. It's your safe house. You know? Your safe house. In the bunker. Also, also security and the peace of, the peace of mind, you know? I got my food, I got my, yeah. you know, my 401k, children straight, you know, I got this, I got that. Right. You know, security also goes into a mind state too, oh, yeah. so when you think you're good. I got all this, I got all this, I got all this well saved up, I got right. a storehouse full, right. I'm gonna kick back, and, and, and you know, I started from the bottom now here, right. I'm self-made and shit, all right, all right. let's right. just see. Yep. That's, that's good, that's good. A lot of these people are deceived. Alright? So rock five and start at one. Set not thine heart upon thy goods. And say, no, I, I have enough for my life. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. And say not who shall control me for who shall control me for my works. For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. That's, 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 that's being proud. You see? That like song, uh, Rick Ross side with John Legend. He gonna be rich forever. Mm -hmm. You know? How you know that? <laughs> the dollar's gonna collapse. Right. Right. It's gonna be a family. Right. You got it, Ira. Let's say, not nah, I have sinned, and what harm had, what had happened, what harm had happened unto me. Right, J.P. sinning. Sinning. 
you know, <laughs> judgment don't be uh, executed right then and there. But Jake like, well, okay, let me ask him to say. Let me keep on with That's wicked, man. Right, because Jake got his hill. But Jake know what he's doing is his wickedness. And they see they don't get fucked up for it. Continue with it. That's why they have pleasure. So they see they get in the way with it. But sometimes Jake even know, like, man, I, I know I got to stop doing this point. Lord us, get you out of a judgment, and then you know, you know just take a, you know, you just nick, nick, nick back into it. Right. Trying, you know, you poking the Lord, man. I just read it. You know, hey, Jake got a zeal. Jake know better. You're an Israelite. But when Jake is on their deathbed, they say, oh God, my God. You see? Short five and four. Say, say now I have sinned and more harm has ha happened unto me. For boy, Yahweh is going to suffer. He, he will and no wise that he go. So you're not going to get away. Concerning propitiation. 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 Be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And say not his mercy is great. He, he will be pacified. For the multitude of my sins, for mercy and wrath come from him. Right, Jake was saying, God knew my heart. Jesus died for us. Right. They're pretty much saying, oh, you know, he's merciful. He'll forgive me. He's merciful. God is a merciful God. Oh, God. Good God. <laughs> Plantation Christianity. Plantation Christianity. At its finest. <laughs> but they try to keep that law. Oh, uh, yeah. You right, see? Right, right. <laughs> Just say five Hail Marys. Right. You'll be so all right. So we'll see. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, Pastor Jamal Bryant. Pastor Jamal Ooh, Bryant said uh, 2022 is going to be. Uh, people's year, man. See? First and right comes from him, and his indignation rested upon sinners. His righteous anger rested upon sinners, man. And it ain't going nowhere, and you ain't getting away. It's just uh, <laughs> that death angel right, right there, ready to slay your ass. Yep. He's waiting for the green light. That's right. That's a lot right. of majority of these people, they got death angels standing right behind them, just waiting. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep. They, they don't have guardian angels. Those are death angels behind you people. Right. And, and then one one day, Yahweh gonna tell Yahweh side, tell them death angels, let's go. You're supposed to see the stars, see niggas chop it. Boom, 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 like flies. That's the time we get ready to come into Ezekiel 9. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles and great most on that do well and teach well, peace and blessings to the whole four legs. Shalom. 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 Shalom